I've been where you are. Listen to me. What I'm trying to tell you is wisdom. However, at the end of the day, people have got to make up their own mind. They've got to learn their own lesson because people that lie to you hate you. The people that tell you the truth, they love you. It's not the other way around. People will like you, whether they don't like you, whether they accept you, whether they reject you. This is who I am and I'm not going to change. I find that a lot of women, especially in this world, don't know who they are. They think that they're their body. They think that they're their face. A woman that hasn't got any values is a woman that is going to be tossed and turned by the wind has no foundation see something on instagram and says oh i'm gonna try that just because it's good doesn't mean it's best but be truthful to others tell people who you are three quarters of the truth is still a lie that's unfair to the other person who has this type of values if a guy says oh i don't want a girl that has been around the block like if you've been around the block own that we want to be women that live a life of peace the problem is not making money it's managing money how do you manage your money how because it's transactional what do you do for others that does not require them giving you anything? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to first start off by saying a huge thank you to you all for the positive feedback on my last video. I now feel free and at liberty to 100% be myself and share whatever I want to share. It's almost like I've got a new zest for creating content and I love it. I no longer feel like oh, I have to create content today. I'm like, yes, I get to create content today. So today we are talking about how to be a, um, a very battling with different titles how to be a woman of virtue how to be a woman of value how to increase your value in this modern day world and I guess I want to preface this by saying that there's no surprise that our world is crazy and insane and there's so many different values and belief systems and I don't know about you that doesn't completely feel right to my soul and I have always been teaching about you know knowing your value and adding tax and I believe that we are all born with intrinsic value and we are all of value. However, there are things that we can do to not recognize that value and to demean that value. And so we become invaluable in the world where we are all supposed to be valuable. To be of value means to be able to be used in the service of other people, if that makes sense. It's not only about just being a high value woman, a woman of virtue, just so that you can kind of beat your chest and be like, yeah, I'm that girl. It isn't and it shouldn't be coming from a place of ego. First of all, we obviously want to be women that showcase our value to honor and to praise the, our creator, our God. Secondly, we want to be of value so that we can love and appreciate each other, whether male or female, whether younger, whether older, you know so I think it's really important that we talk about these things and I just love that you guys are so much into personal development and becoming better it actually makes me so happy that the, the videos that get the most views aren't the ones on relationships it's actually the ones on self-development and becoming a better person you know and I just love that for you guys so guys you need to get sky stream so I have a funny story my cousin came around the other day and of course he wanted to watch the football so he asked me do I have sky and I said it's funny as I never did but recently found that there's a new way to get sky with sky stream this small little device is called sky stream which allows me to watch everything and anything i want with the use of this remote it's the easiest to set up and arrives next day delivery so no more having to wait for weeks for the sky man to come and install a dish you literally take it out of the box and you're good to go i can watch all of my favorite content across all my favorite apps like netflix disney bbc iplayer and even spotify like check this out play succession I appreciate your interest in our little outfit like that I think that's it. How cool is that? Depending on where you live, I know most apartments don't allow you to easily set up Sky due to installation issues. But with Sky Stream, it's just so easy. And if you have more than one TV, all your preferences will be saved on all devices. Head to sky.com forward slash stream and start streaming today. So today I have 12 tips on becoming a high value, a virtuous woman. And just some things that we can bear in mind. Like I said, the journey of self-development is ongoing and I am better than I was last year. I'm better than I was two years ago and I'm going to be better than I am this year, next year. And we just keep on going from strength, from strength to glory to glory. And it's going to be wonderful to see because not only do we benefit from it in our own lives, whereby we're able to live a life of peace and joy and go to sleep at night 
knowing that we haven't seared our own conscious, that we haven't done things that we know we should have, shouldn't have done and have to live with in a turmoil. We want to be women that live a life of peace, that create peace, that bring peace and that live in peace. So I have 12 tips for you guys. There's obviously a lot more, but in today's video, this is what we're going to be talking about. So the first tip for you guys is to cultivate self-awareness, okay? And self-awareness is about understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, your values, and your priorities. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm gonna give you guys a challenge and then I'm gonna do this after I've created this video. But create a mission statement. If you've ever worked at a company, if you've ever created a business, they have mission statements for their company. And this tells anyone that comes into the company that is employed by the company and shows other people in the world what that company and what that brand is about. So create a mission statement of who you are, like who you are and who do you want to be seen as. And I know in my last video I talked about transition and changing, right? And it's important that we write ourselves a new mission statement, right? We may have done things in the past that we are not completely, you know, happy about or proud of. But a good thing is that there's always a new day and you can always change and you can always become the person that you were made and created to be. And so write yourself a mission statement. Who are you? Write down your name and who you want to be. Cultivating self-awareness is really about who you are. Knowing who you are, becoming certain, sure and concrete in who you are. So that whether people come or whether people go, whether people like you, whether they don't like you, whether they accept you, whether they reject you, this is who I am and I'm not going to change. I find that a lot of women, especially in this world, don't know who they are. They think that they're their body, they think that they're their face, they think that they're their career, they think that they are who loves them, they think that they are who their family is, they think that they are how many followers they have and their identity is built on a paper plate that is, is, is disposable and ever changing. The only person you can really build your identity on is the person that doesn't change and it's the identity that God has created you in. And yes, you can become better, yes, you can evolve, yes, you can transform, but ultimately you have to know that you are good. And God made you he said it is good okay you are good enough your quirks your kinks your strengths your weaknesses your abilities your disabilities all of the things you're not a mistake how you were created is not a mistake yes we can evolve yes we can get better but who you are at your real core is not a mistake so understanding who that person is why you do what you do and I'm probably going to make a new video an updated video on how to become self-aware because I thought that, that video is like four years old now but I definitely want to do another video on self-awareness but number one is becoming self-aware, understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, your values and your priorities. What do you value and what is a priority? In this world there are so many things that are trying to vie for our attention and like I said in my last video, just because it's good doesn't mean it's best. Just because you're doing something doesn't mean it's the thing. So get clear on your priorities. What is your priorities for this year? What is your priorities for this quarter of the year? What are your priorities for life? So they really shouldn't change. And a woman of value has values. It just is what it is. A woman that hasn't got any values is a woman that is going to be tossed and turned by the wind, has no foundation, see something on Instagram and says, oh, I'm going to try that. And I'm not saying about new hairstyles or new makeup trends. I'm talking about, oh, I'm going to try and change my personality to be like this girl so that I can get what she has, not realizing that you don't really know what she has and you really don't know what she did to get it. All you're seeing is an image and you're getting, you're getting inspired by an image. You probably probably couldn't even handle yourself. So be careful when you're praying for other people's perceived blessings, what it looks like to be a blessing, because you really don't know what they had to do to get that. And you probably would not be willing to do that, whether it's good or bad, whether they had to work a hundred hours to get what they have or get to where they are, or whether they, I don't know, scammed or got caught up in whatever to get what they got. So I never compare myself to anyone. I get inspired, yes, but I never want to replicate someone. So a person that doesn't have their own set of values is constantly looking for values in other people that they can replicate and that's genuinely when you stop being yourself okay it's okay to be inspired by other people but you cannot be anybody but you so be the best version of you number two be kind and compassionate show kindness and empathy towards others even if they are different from you like i do not have to agree with you i do not have to agree with your lifestyle i don't have to agree to respect you i do not have to agree to love you but i can be kind and show compassion because we just don't know what people are going through. And we always wait until someone dies to say, oh, be kind, or someone commits suicide, and you say, be kind, after you bullied the hell out of them, you know? 
always be kind and be, be compassionate to people and extend the same compassion that you want others to give to you to other people the bible says do unto others what you would like done unto you right to yourself so let's be kind and let's be compassionate there are people with different views and morals and values in us and it's like that's okay it's always going to be the way god loves them regardless but you are in control of how you treat those people because there are some people that don't agree with you if they turned around and treated you how you treat other people would you be happy that's a question to ask yourself number three how to be a woman of virtue a woman of value be honest be truthful and in order to be honest you have to love truth and what does that mean what does it mean to be a lover of truth you say even if the truth hurts tell me the truth because people that lie to you hate you the people that tell you the truth they love you it's not the other way around you think because this person is coddling you and telling you the things that you want to hear that they love you no they don't love you they don't even like you because if i saw someone going the wrong way and i didn't warn them their blood would be on my hands so they may like me but they'll be dead so what did it profit me to tickle their ears and tell them what they wanted to hear without warning them of the consequences of things that they were doing and it goes back to point number two you can say those things in a kind and compassionate way you don't have to say it in a judgmental way because if you truly care about someone you care about how you say it as well and i know sometimes we can say things from a place of frustration because I've, girl i've been there i've done that like i've been where you are listen to me what i'm trying to tell you is wisdom however at the end of the day people have got to make up their own mind they've got to learn their own lessons like even as you watch me here i would love for every single one of you that watches this video is to really take what i say to heart but it's not gonna it's not possible you guys are gonna be like okay brie needs this brie needs that brie needs, okay brie needs brie needs old even though i'm 31 <laughs> brie doesn't know what i'm going through like trust me i know that's the reason why i'm telling you this i'm the older sister you never had because i am the older sister i never had so be honest and truthful honesty is a foundation of a virtuous life be truthful in all your interactions not only be true to yourself but be truthful to others tell people who you are and this is one thing i'll share with you guys in my last relationship because i carried some shame which i didn't realize at the time because i carried some shame about my past i told him half truth not half truth three quarters of truth i didn't tell him the complete truth because i still had shame and three quarters of the truth is still a lie and that caused a lot of problems in our relationship because I couldn't be honest because I felt shame. So let the shame go, let the pain go, let it go, let it go, let it go. You did it, you're forgiven, move on, let's go forward, let's become the women that we're supposed to be, okay? So be honest about who you are to others as well because if they reject you, it's better they reject you because they have a right to have their own values and to value what they value. So if you are lying to them and saying, I'm this type of person when you're not, or I did this when you didn't, or I didn't do this when you did, that's unfair to the other person person who has this type of values if a guy says oh i don't want a girl that you know i don't know has been around the block like if you've been around the block own that like own that there'll be a guy out there that doesn't mind that you've had a past because he's also had a past if that guy cares that you had a past he's not the one for you let him go and find the virgin let him go and find the virgin and there's nothing wrong with virgin let him who wants a virgin get with a virgin like that's it you don't have to try and change someone and you don't have to change for somebody let whoever accepts you accepts you whoever doesn't doesn't period number five foster a growth mindset embrace new challenges and learn from them be open to new experiences and ideas one thing that i've definitely done this year is open myself up to new things you cannot grow when you're constantly feeding yourself on the same things are you reading or not reading like are you reading the same books that appeal to your desires or are you challenging yourself with new ideas Honestly, Honestly, I read things that I don't agree with because I'm trying to expand my mind. I'm trying to expand my mind and see why why certain people think this way, right? And to those of you who don't read, why? No, I know why. It's because it takes a lot of attention span to actually read. If your mind is filled up with 15 second TikToks, one minute reels, like you're not going to want to read long form content. Even some of you guys, like I see on my analytic, I have a 45 minute video. You guys only have the attention span for seven minutes do better like you've got to do better and the only way you can do better is challenge yourself to stretch your mindset so having a growth mindset is seeing the glass half full understanding that there's improvement there are some people with a growth mindset and there's some people with a fixed mindset those people with a fixed mindset say it's always going to be how it always has been there's nothing that i can do to change it fate is going to be fate there's nothing that i can do and those people that
that think like that literally become victims to their own circumstances and they garner a victim mindset because if everything's happening to you if everything's happening to me then I'm a victim but you have to happen to life you can't allow life to happen to you you have to happen to life understand that you are in control and that's one thing I love about accountability it puts me in the driver's seat if I made that mistake that means I can fix it if I did something wrong that means I can fix it going forward if I'm constantly denying that I had any part to play in the story of my life your story is going to continue the way it's always continued but when you take accountability and you're like yo there are certain times things happen to us but are you just going to sit with that or are you going to be like okay this happened to me but this is how I'm going to change it around this is what I'm going to do differently because there can be two different people living the same experiences that come out with different results you were abused as a child so was she so was he you lived in poverty so did she so did he your father wasn't around neither was she neither was he but what they do with those cards handed to them is what makes a difference and when you take what happens to you and you don't turn that pain into purpose you don't change that pain into passion you're going to be like the soul that the bible talks about he was given a talent but it was only one of them and he took the talent and he buried it in the ground and when his master came back for a return on his investment the wicked servant handed him the talent and said hey go it's yours you can have it back and the master called him wicked because he did not turn his lemons into lemonade you can turn your story your pain into purpose if you choose to you don't have to be a victim of this world you don't have to be a victim of circumstances you can be victorious numero uno dos tres catara sank numero sank uh pursue no i said that already numero set <laughs> live with integrity stand up for what you believe in and always do the right thing even when it is difficult integrity is like it's amazing that it's number seven because seven is my favorite number and integrity is so key and important to me like i said on my last video are you preaching what you practice and are you practicing what you preach integrity is the inside and the outside matching that's what integrity it means to have heart it means to stand for something and stand 10 toes on that whether the times are changing whether the world says it's okay now even though you know it's wrong but living a life of integrity allows you to sleep peacefully at night when there is a conflict of what you believe in the inside and what you're doing on the outside it causes disruption it causes stress and it causes a lack of peace and in psychology we call it cognitive dissonance there's a dissonance going on there's a dis not matching there's no harmony harmony to be integral to have integrity is to be harmonious what you believe what you do is one thing one thing and a lot of people find it difficult to stand up for what they believe in because most people want to fit in most people want to do what everyone else is doing and i guess i can say but I, I believe my boldness comes from i'm a natural born rebel if everyone's doing something i just don't want to do it if everyone's thinking a certain way i have to question like is this really true i don't want to go this with the flow i don't want to go to status quo i don't want to be on the wide road i want to be on the narrow road i want to do what is right and doing what's right in this world will often to leave you with no friends no family and by yourself because there's not a lot of people that have integrity anymore because people will sell their soul literally for money when it all comes down to it it's money fear of losing money i was watching i think it was a g craig sermon and he was talking about people coming to him and saying i want out of this industry and he's like well get out he's like well i'm signed to a contract was like stop making music if i stop making music i'll stop making money like ultimately everything that compromises our integrity is the temptation or the lure lure of money and that's why we have to be content with whatever we have like whether we have or we whether we don't whether we're gonna win or whether we're gonna lose we're going to have integrity because integrity is gonna allow me to sleep peacefully at night and you need peace in order to live a virtuous life in order to live a life of integrity number eight become financially responsible manage your finances well and avoid excessive spending and debt someone sent me a anonymous q a on instagram and they said to me how how do i get taken more seriously or how do i become i can't remember what she said i mean she's like how do i mature how do i grow up and the first sign of maturity is how do you handle responsibility do you pay your phone bill on time if you have a car do you pay for your car on time even a minor thing that seems minor do you allow your petrol to get low 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 low, low, low until you fill it up and let's be honest like last time i filled my tank up i didn't allow it to get to 10 percent but on a usual day if i see my petrol getting low like half percent i will fill it up and 
and this is not talking to those who don't have money like sometimes you just have enough money to fill up your tank and I'm not talking to that but I'm talking about being responsible staying on top of things and one thing that a lot of women struggle to stay on top of is their finances some people just never seem to have enough and it's not because you don't have enough money it's not because your job does not pay you well although there are some people that do and you need to find a new job they need to put some respect on your value that's a topic for another day but there are people that that make enough money problem is not making money it's managing money how do you manage your money how are you responsible are you living within your means someone asked me on anonymous Q&A they said should I move out and what are your thoughts on living with other people I said to them you should only move out if you can afford your rent twice if I was really talking to like really talking to someone, I would say three times because there are going to be times, especially if you have a freelance job, you don't know where that rent is coming from. And if you're living rent to rent, just barely sweeping by, you cannot afford it. And I always say, if you can't buy something twice, you can't afford it. So if you have to live with other people to make the rent cheaper because cost of living is not for the week, that like is a real thing. If you have to live with other people to make your life easier, then do it until you're able to afford that rent twice because some of these landlords they're just wicked like they'll be like okay we want, we want the house back now we want the apartment back or they'll be like because you were late on your payments we're gonna have to evict you like there's so many crazy things that, that can happen so yeah be responsible with your finances manage your finances and don't let your, your finances manage you there's so many free resources out there that shows you how to budget get on to that number 10 practice self-care take care of yourself physically emotionally mentally and spiritually eat well exercise and manage stress obviously i spoke about this in my 2020 three checklist so I'm not going to beat a dead horse but it's very important that you take care of yourself this is a new concept to a lot of people because a lot of people are used to putting other people or other things before themselves like no but prioritize yourself prioritize your health prioritize your sleep that's one thing that a lot of us take for granted listen I'm an early riser I'm a early worm I cannot stay up for nothing if I'm tired I'm going to bed I'll deal with whatever I have to deal with in the morning but please god do not let me stay up past 12 o'clock like I can't unless I'm out okay fine but if I'm at home I'm asleep by 11 if I fall asleep I fall asleep but I value my sleep because sleep is so important to your mindset and how you manage stress a lot of you are stressed right now because you're not sleeping get off Instagram close your phone one thing I did last night I turned my phone off before I went to bed so when I woke up in the morning I couldn't just reach for it instead I reached for my bible and I read my bible for the morning so it's all about prioritizing and managing your stress number 11 which people are going to hate because nobody talks about this in our modern day world it's all about I, 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 self, self, self. And as much as I teach on self-development, it does not stop and end with you. Number 11 is to serve others. Look for opportunities to serve others and make a positive impact in your community. And your community can be your friends, your family, your church, your wherever you go, whatever place of worship you go. Anyone in the community, how can you give back? How can you be charitable? And I think a lot of people don't want to do anything unless they're being paid. And that is a really, a really horrible way to live because it's transactional. What do you do for others that does not require them giving you anything? How do you serve? How do you become a servant for others? Like I said at the beginning, do unto others as you would like done unto yourself. Look for opportunities to serve in your church. Look for opportunities to serve in your community. Sign up for charitable deeds. Go and look in your community like what's going on. Where can you volunteer your time? This is what makes you valuable because it shows people that you care about other people other than yourself. And we're living in a generation that is so self-centered, so narcissistic and so look at me look at me look at me and everybody like of course we want to look at you like you're you're cute yeah we get it or what else is there and this is one of the ways you increase your value in the world because it's not just about saying i have value i have value i have value i'm valuable i'm valuable show us your value by what you do for others set 12 last but definitely not least seek spiritual growth make sure you're finding your purpose and your meaning in life in your creator the one who created you practice your faith practice your faith the bible says faith about works is dead it's not enough that you believe in God how do you show that you believe in God practice your faith you say you have faith I say I have faith and I have works so I'm gonna show you my faith by what I do by my works right because it is impossible to show and to believe that you have faith if you don't do anything faith is an action word what are you doing to show that you have faith and what are you doing to inspire other people to follow your God do you make your faith look exciting are you bored about it are you bored about your faith or are you excited about it do you really believe like can you make me a believer by the way that you live right and so that's 12 things that increase your value as a woman in this world like i said you have value we know that you're intrinsically valuable can you show us your value can you be virtuous in a world that is so self-centered and very 
very much about I. Can you love others, love your enemies? Not just love the people that love you, but love your enemies. That's really what a virtuous person is. And I don't know about you guys, but I want to become more virtuous, better than I was last year, even last week, even yesterday. Lord, make me a better person. And I believe in you guys. So let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments below. Hope you guys like the video. Please like it, send it to the algorithms, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.